Um, hello everyone, I'm Jay. Today I'm going to introduce our paper, TVQA. Uh, my collaborators are Li Chen, Mohit, and Tamara. We are from UNC Chapel Hill. Now I will introduce the TVQA dataset to you. The first large-scale localized compositional video creation answering dataset. This dataset is available at your project page. There are four advantages of our dataset. The first is large scale, with more than 150 thousands of QA pairs. Second, it's compositional. TV QA questions are designed to be compositional, requiring both video and textual cues to answer. Third, it's localized. TV QA questions are temporarily localized with timestamp annotation. The last is fun. TV QA videos are made from popular TV shows, such as the Big Bang Theory and Friends that we all love, which come with rich social interactions. Here is an example question from our dataset. The question is, what is Sheldon holding when he is talking to Howard about the sword? And here are the five candidate answers. And uh, on the right, we show a localized video clip within a longer video. And now I'll play this video for you. Sheldon, he's got Raj. Use your sleep spell. Sheldon. Sheldon. I've got the sword of Azeroth. As you may see from the video that the correct answer is a computer. Now I'll show you how we collect such um, a question. Firstly, we show the workers um, a longer video, which is around 6 to 90 seconds long. And then we ask them to write a question in our compositional format. This compositional format consists of two parts. The first, the question part. For example, what is Sheldon holding? The second part, localization part. He is talking to Howard about this word. These two parts are nicely joined together using one of the three link words. The link words actually reflect the temporal order of these two parts. Next, we ask them also provide one correct answer, as well as four wrong but relevant answers, which we believe uh, makes the negative answers more tricky than random sampled answers, which we will also show in later experiments. The last step is to mark the start and end timestamp for this question, which uh, they are required to localize all the information needed to answer this question. For this example, the localized start and end timestamps are 2 to 10. So here is the after this collection process, we have this TVQA question. Note that in order to answer this question, it is helpful for the model to first textually localize the moment he is talking to Howard about this word. Then answer the question, what is Sheldon holding from the video side? So that makes this question a textual localization plus video question answering question. Here is another example. The question is, what does Derek tell George when George hands Derek the brain scans of Jamie Hayes? The correct answer is, Derek needs new brain scans. Now let's see this word do. Jamie Hayes has been admitted. The little girl with the brain abnormality. How's she presenting? She has what looks like continuous seizure activity in her left foot. Her balance is off. Her parents have come a long way to try to find out what's wrong. How old are these? About three months old. I need new ones. Her brain can look dramatically different today. Again, it is helpful for the model to firstly visually localize the moment George hands Derek the brain scans of Jamie Hayes. Then answer the question, what does Derek tell George from the subtitle? So this question um, involves textual or visual localization plus textual question answering. TVQA questions are collected based on six TV shows across three genres. We have three from sitcoms, The Big Bang Theory, Friends, and How I Met Your Mother, and two from Medical, Grey's Anatomy, and House MD, and one from Crime, which is uh, Castor. We noticed that different shows come with different words. For example, 
sitcoms comes with more daily object scenes, actions, such as game, shop, and beer. While medical shows comes with more medical terms, such as nurse and hospital. TVQA questions are distributed in different question types. We have abstract questions, we have action questions, and we have reasoning questions, and so on. By evaluating the model's performance in these different question types, we can, to some extent, um, evaluate the model's comprehension ability in different aspects, such as text summarization, action recognition, and reasoning. This page shows a comparison of TV QA to various existing video QA datasets. In the last three columns, the Q source is short for question source, indicates where the questions come from. It has two options, text and video. If only text is checked, it means the questions in this, in this dataset are collected based on text information. For example, let's look at the movie QA dataset. Their questions are collected based on um, people reading plot summaries of the movies instead of directly watching the movies. So its question source only contains text and without video. In contrast, TVQA questions are collected by people reading videos with another subtitles. So its question source contains both text and video. We believe our strategy is better at collecting multimodal questions. <coughs> The last column, timestamp annotation, indicates whether the questions come with temporal annotations. Among the five video QA datasets, our dataset is the only one that combines all the three factors, including text source, video source, and the timestamp annotation. With such rich annotation, we propose two tasks. The first task question answering without timestamp annotation, where the model has to look at the full video clip to seek the answer. Here is the second task, question answering with uh, timestamp annotation, where we additionally provide the model with timestamp annotation. For inputs, um, first is a question with five candidate answers and then the subtitle sentence. For video inputs, we use the video frames extracted from the video. We used three different video features. The first is ImageNet feature extracted using ResNet 101. And the regional video feature, which are object level encodings from object detector. In this work, we used a fast RCN trained on video genome. And the last, video concepts feature, which are detected object features and labels from object detector. Here is an fast RCN detection example. The regional video feature, which are image embeddings inside the bounding box, and the video concepts feature, which is shown in the caption can be used to answer the question, what is Sheldon holding when everyone is at the door? The correct answer is basket. To answer TVQA questions, we propose a multi-stream model. Each stream of this model deals with different contextual input. For example, the upper stream takes care of video, while the bottom stream takes care of subtitle. Take the regional video feature stream as an example. I will explain the model in detail. The textual sentence including the question and the candidate answers are encoded using pre-trained word embedding and the LSTM encoder. The video frames are firstly fed into the RCN to extract object level encodings and then uh, mapped uh, with a fully, coll fully collected layer with uh, the shared LSTM encoder. The encoded context query pair, uh, such as the video question pair or the video answer pair, are then fed into the context matching module. 
This context matching module is essentially a context to query attention, which outputs context aware query representations. These representations are then fused together. The fused representation are then fed into another layer of LSTM with max pooling and uh, a soft max classifier to get the final answer probabilities. When multiple streams are used, their unnormalized answer probabilities are simply added together. For experiments, we used 80% for training, 10% for validation, and 10% for testing. Questions from the same clip are put into the same split. This ensures that the model will never see clips from the test during training. We provide, uh, provide three baselines. The first is the longest answer. The second, uh, nearest neighbor search. Where giving um, a question or subtitle, we find the closest candidate answer to that question or the subtitle. The last is a two-step retrieval-based approach. We are giving um, a test question. We first retrieve the closest training question, and then we find the closest test the answer to the retrieved training question's correct answer. For the last two methods, we used a GLOW, Scapesort, and TFIDF vectors as their features, and we use cosine similarity as our metric. Here are the results. Uh, we first compare the baseline methods. The baseline methods with subtitle um, performs much better than the baseline methods without subtitle. This shows that subtitle is important for answering TVQA questions. This page uh, compares different variants uh, of our proposed model. Row 11 shows the question only model. When adding video or adding subtitle, the model performs better in most cases. When adding both video and subtitle, the model gets the best performance. This indicates that both video and textual information are important. This page compares model with time step annotation and the models without time step annotation. The models with time step annotation performs constantly better than the ones without. So this shows uh, time step annotation is important for um, answering the questions. This page, uh, we compare the human right negative answers with uh, randomly sampled negative answers. Uh, as we can see from this table that um, the model performs much worse in, in the set with human right negative answers, which uh, suggests that the human right, right negative answers in our data set are challenging. Now we show a correct prediction example from our model. The question is what Raj and Howard are drinking when sat at the table. The correct answer and the prediction are both beer. There he is. That's my happy Hebraic homeboy. <laughs> yeah, that's the smile I'm going to remember when you're living in the desert and I'm living with your wife. So this example shows that our model could correctly answer questions about objects mentioned uh, or showing in the video. Here is another uh, example which shows a false prediction of our model. The correct answer is his office, um, but the model predicted the radiology department as its uh, answer. Problems in radiology. A radiation dosimeter badge turned positive. Um, as we can see from this video, that this model is possibly distracted by the word radiology in the subtitle, and thus choosing the answer the radiology department. All the experimental results are available in our TVQA leaderboard. Um, currently, we only have results from our own paper, so we welcome everyone to join us. And we're also planning to hold a workshop in the future, so welcome and come and join us uh, on this interesting data set. The TVQA benchmark models and starter code are, are released. Thanks for your attention.
Thank you. Other questions? Uh, this data set is public, right? Uh, sorry? This data set is public? Yeah, it is available so, now. So, uh, have you checked the legality of uh, providing the data set? Uh -huh. I'm not sure about the legality of uh, providing the data set. Uh, the legality. Sure I follow your question correctly. Is it legal to provide uh, oh. TV clips? I'm yeah, not sure that, about that's that. The, that's the most challenging part in creating and sharing this data set. And uh, uh, for the copyright reason, we can only share the video frames for now. And we are working on someone in our university to figure out whether we can share the videos. Hope we can. OK, thank you. Thank you. Other questions? Do you know which one of the two models or two LSTMs uh, count the most? The one looking at the video uh, or the one looking at the subtitles? Can you so go back to them all? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Have you studied that? Which one counts the most? Uh, you mean performance both? Yeah, which one does get gets you the response on this da data set, even if it's biased a bit, because it's on, yeah. So you have that oh, combining plus there. It is a little bit stuck, sorry. <laughs> you were there. So you can repeat your question. Have you studied if one of the models gives better results based on your data set? Which one performs or gives the, oh, yeah, the, the most to give the right answer? Uh, actually, we can say from this experimental results, uh, which shows that the subtitle without timestamp code get uh, around 63%. Well, the video-only model could get around 40 to 45. Mm -hmm. So that means subtitle actually um, means, yeah. Uh, do you have any idea uh, how many questions are actually asking about objects or attributes or like scene? So if I have ground truth annotations for that, how, um, how confident I'm, uh, your models can be at uh, answering these? Uh, we have uh, collected a s um, small sample of those questions to analyze where the questions come from. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have that data now. We can share uh, later. Thanks. <coughs> okay. Thank you again. <laughs>